Okay, so let's have a look at Easy Credits 2.04. Uh, a little bit has changed in its most recent release, so we're going to go through the whole tool. There's a little bit to get through, so we're going to try and move through it as best as we can. Okay, so when you first download the project, you're going to get this folder, and inside of here, the first thing I would recommend is just coming over to the demo and jumping into the demo scene. The demo scene is pretty simple. Uh, you've just got the camera, you don't need to worry about that, and you have the Easy Credits Manager. If we come over to the Easy Credits Manager, we can see our fancy nice inspector. So this is where you're gonna be dealing with all the visuals uh, for the credits, basically. To begin with, we have this preview window. Um, yeah, so maybe I should just do a quick rundown of how Easy Credits work, just in case you're uh, not familiar. Easy Credits allows you to run all of your credits data through a spreadsheet and then manage your visuals through the inspector. And then it procedurally creates the credits for you. This allows you to manage the roles and the names of who's been working on your game uh, in different languages or just easily update the list uh, in a spreadsheet. And then you just download that spreadsheet, drag it into Unity, and it will be displayed with all the settings that you have set up previously. But this is really good for any game project because it means as you need to add people to your credits, uh, you can just super easily go into the uh, spreadsheet, make a few changes, drag it into Unity, and it will display. Uh, you don't need to go in, tweak all the visuals, make it look nice. Everything is dealt with for you. Uh, that's the main benefit of the tool. Okay, so now that we've covered all of that, let's get into the tool itself. Uh, you'll notice the tool is broken up into different sections and we can open and close these sections. That's just to make the tool a little bit easier to deal with, uh, as if we didn't do that, it'd be quite a big inspector and a little bit annoying to deal with. Uh, sorry about my parrot. <laughs> She's not a big fan of when I record videos. As she tends, yeah, she can't really be in the same room and it's just like, oh, well, why am I in the same room if you're talking so much? Let's have a look at the preview window. So if we come over to the preview section, we have here the enable preview. You're basically going to want to have this always enabled. Um, it just allows you to see the credits, basically. So you turn that on, you can see your credits, and here we can scroll through them. This is one of the new features, and it makes working with the credits a thousand times nicer. As, as you can see, we can display our credits while we're not running the game, and we can see all of our changes in real time. This makes editing the credits incredibly simple, and we'll just jump down to the roles, and we'll just have a look at that. So yeah, here we can see, we can make changes, and see those changes happen in real time. Uh, yeah, so scroll through, pretty simple. Uh, let's have a look at the general tab. In general, the first thing you're gonna come across is this file name credits. Uh, this might be a little bit confusing, but this is basically the core of how Easy Credits works. Uh, credits here, this is referring to a file name that can be found inside of the resources. So here it's called credits, so this has to be credits. If your uh, file is called something else, then it needs to match it. Okay, so just stitching this in as I didn't really cover it, but uh, to create the file called credits, you can use any spreadsheet editor. And basically, you just go from left to right. The top column is your roles, so programming, design, art, animation, and under each of them is your names. So programming, we had Dylan, Allison, and Squeak. Design, we had Dylan, Allison, and Doc, and yeah, so on. You can fill this out as much as you want to, and yeah, that is basically how it will display in the credits. To save it, you just need to come down and uh, export it. Where it is export? In Google Docs, it's called download. And we just download as a comma separated value. Uh, this will be available in any spreadsheet editor. And yeah, basically just follow this format and you will be good to go. So yeah, let's come down and have a look at the background color. So background color is pretty simple. It is the color of the background. Yeah, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, down here, we've got the scroll speed. This is just how sp uh, quickly the credits will scroll when the scene's actually playing. Um, yeah. And my, uh, section line spacing, that's how much space you want to have between each section. Pretty self explanatory. Uh, centering, text centering removes all of the text. Uh, all of the options which have uh, centering uh, in the name and have a slider, you can think about the slider as the screen. So the center. Uh, of this slider is the center of the screen. And over here is all the way to the left, over here is the way to the right. It makes it really easy to visualize uh, what your credits are gonna look like. After that, we have the keep title centered. 
basically when that's on um, uh, if we move this over to here the title will still show up in the center uh, we can just come up to the top do, do, do. and then if we do that see now it's off the reason why uh, it's not where it's not following this is yeah you'll see here it gives it its own slider but we want to keep that centered and come back down here okay cinematic verse inline pretty simple and cinematic roll centering yeah another pretty simple thing game title this is the option for the title up here so at the moment we're using an image you don't have to use an image but that's what we're using here you can choose the scale and if you're not using an image if you put in some text here you can see behind you can see the text uh, here's where you can choose the font for that all your text settings yeah pretty simple roles roles we already kind of went over they are things such as programming and design and yeah choose your font uh, yeah pretty pretty simple titles titles are under roles so Dylan Alice and Doc their titles same thing and now we get down to our inlays so the inlay system is a pretty interesting system and yeah the inlays are basically what allow you to put objects or images into your credits uh, that's what's putting this uh, picture here you can see it here so we can move it around uh, and then this one down here is this one there's a little bit to cover with the inlay system and I did do a video which is still uh, relevant to this somewhat recently so uh, if you want to learn more about this system I'm going to uh, recommend that you go and watch that video the only change between now and then is that in that previous version we didn't have the preview so you couldn't see your changes in real time where now you can but besides that it's all the same okay so now let's have a look at begin and end begin and end is pretty simple uh, we have this start delay basically that's the amount of time that your credits will stay stationary before they start scrolling uh, this will allow you to just show your uh, logo for longer at the start of the credits basically start point offset just allows you to move where the credits start and exit to scene on end is just a ball and if we have that enabled then we will exit to this scene when the credits have completed if you're not sure how this works uh, if you're a little bit newer to unity you come over to the build settings you can see here in our build settings we have demo as scene zero and down here we have the scene to exit to as scene zero which means once we get to the end of our credits we're going to reload the demo scene and the credits are going to start again uh, so whatever scene we put here it will just load to on the end if you want to do something else uh, with the start and end of the credits then we have these custom um, functions here that you can call uh, well, custom events so you could use this for all kinds of stuff uh, yeah okay so we're getting close to the end now here we have the legal line so if I just scroll down to the bottom of the credits this here is the legal line powered by easy credits so if we come in and change that yeah uh, yeah pretty standard we've got all of our uh, font settings and yeah that's basically it uh, this is the final element in your credits so this basically determines when your credits stops playing and once this element has made it all the way off screen that's when your credits will start to say okay we're finished and if you have this set to zero it will do whatever it needs to do straight away as soon as that's off screen if you have that set to one it'll wait one second once that's off screen so yeah and obviously legal line doesn't need to say credits powered by easy credits uh, but if you want to do that then that would be very nice of you and finally we have the presets uh, yeah presets are pretty self-explanatory they are presets so we come down and we have the scrolling preset that's one we're already on so we didn't see any change if we come down to stationary we'll see the credits have changed a lot uh, stationary credits that's when you really want to start using um, some offsets to get everything nice and centered basically when you have your credits set to stationary uh, they won't scroll which means that it doesn't matter when this element comes on and off screen for the credits to exit because that will never happen so that's also when this exit time 
uh, becomes really important and that's why you'll see it's automatically being set to 10 when we went to stationary. If we go back to scrolling, see it's zero. And uh, yeah, this offset also is what you want to use for uh, the stationary credits just to position them how you want them. And yeah, so yeah, we wait 10 seconds, we don't move, then we exit the scene. Pretty simple. But let's go back to our scrolling credits. And you'll see now that we've gone back to our scrolling credits, we now don't have our inlays. And that's because just the default scrolling credits don't have inlays. And by clicking this, we've gone to default scrolling credits, so we don't have them. But if we come down to inlays, we can just go inlays, inline, and we have our inlays again. So yeah, uh, this is also where we can change the inline or cinematic rolls. And you'll see it changes a little bit more than just the inline or cinematic. Here we have everything starting from the left, and here we, and over here we have everything centered. So yeah, it helps change a little bit of everything. If we come down to the inlays here, obviously that's a little bit gross, so we'll just change our centering. So we want these to be zero. And yeah, we now have a very different look for our credits without a lot of effort. Okay, so let's come back down to here. So yeah, we just have a few more options for our inlays. We have inlays side by side rolls. And as you'll see, that moves everything over a little bit. And now the inlays are on the side. Uh, our centering needs to be adjusted for that. So we'll just come in and adjust that. And yeah, we have very different looking credits once again. Okay, and finally we have the stationary. So if we come over to the stationary ones, you'll see all the credits come to one side. If we go to this one, they go to the other side. Uh, if we come up to the inlays, you can see these ones are time-based. So unfortunately, these ones do not work very well with our preview. In fact, they do not show up at all in our preview, as our preview is based on slider and not time. Uh, the, we'll uh, these ones will show up after 7 seconds, then disappear after 11, 12, 16. You can adjust that as you wish. Uh, so the only way we can actually visualize these ones is if we set our preview scroll to 0, which is another thing to keep in mind. If we have this set to like 0.5, then when we start our credits, our credits will start at 0.5. So when we stop editing our credits, we do always want to set this back to 0. Um, but we'll disable our preview just as our uh, stationary credits do not like the preview. And now if we press play, we can have a look at the stationary inlays. And yeah, as we're waiting for them to come up, uh, yeah, that's basically the entire tool. Um, if we come up to the inlays, there is one other option which isn't available through the presets, which is stationary and scrolling in line. And that basically allows you to have the scrolling inlays with the stationary. And yeah, between all of that, you can get a lot of different looks. Okay, and that is easy credits. Uh, if there are any features which I haven't included that you'd like to see, then please do let me know, because I'm always looking to add new things. So yeah, jump in the Discord, have a chat. Uh, yeah, thanks for checking it out, and I hope you enjoy.